turmeric. Starting to get cooler nights now. Should have frosty nights. We're nowhere near that. Still in the 50s, high 40s. But the leaves are yellowing. Days are getting down 70s and below. Below 70 doesn't grow much. So before it frosts, I want to harvest it. This is a perennial warmer climate. We're in 6B here. So I store it over the winter. We transplant it in the spring. Uh, we've had it on the property three, maybe four years now. Let's see how we did. Here's one of these logs while I was doing it though. I just want to show this. This is a uh, black locust, really rot resistant. You see all the hyphae of it, the mycelium all over it, the hyphae, I believe, the white. That's the fungal component. Once that gets in there, start breaking it down. It's known as the teeth of the forest. It turns it right into a soil. It's a beautiful soil. All right, back to the turmeric. Always adding ohm, organic matter. This is the soil created by leaving those wood chips. See the hyphae on that wood chip? They break down those wood chips. Chickens and ducks come in and feed on the insects that are in here, pooping in it. You get this gorgeous soil. We've got a dark, heavy clay here, a red heavy clay here. So by adding all this organic matter on top, it's full of earthworms, red wiggler worms from the gar from the red wiggler pile, the compost, kinds of other insects. Again, making that a beautiful soil. This one just happens to have a cowpea in it. Let's see if we can find some of the nodules on that. We're also using nitrogen fixers. This is a cowpea. It's making out those or not. Those pink sacks is the way it stores the nitrogen in its root system. That it doesn't directly feed the plants. In my understanding, insects come in, consume that, regurgitate it back. Not regurgitate it, shit it back. Leaving that nitrogen behind. And watching this video understands it better, please feel free to comment. Those are your legumes, your nitrogen fixers. That was just cow pee. Grubs, chicken food, more of that gorgeous soil, all from chopping and dropping, wood chips, leaving our leaves. Just one little side shoot. All that turmeric. Bad for 6B. Oh, we've got a strawberry with it.
affiliated woodpecker. They're normally very shy. You get a lot of them here because of all the wood, all the logs, wood trips, hugu culture. They're constantly down here feeding on it. Be happy with that. I've got a couple more scattered around. They didn't get as big. Maybe we'll go ahead and look at the aquaponic unit too. I've got one in there that goes year round, dies off for the winter, but comes back. It's perennial in there. Doesn't get as cold. Don't get quite as mature here. We got a lot of white tips. But it's all just wonderful. I use mostly in golden milk. So that took up what, uh, one foot by three feet, three square feet. And it wasn't succession, there was strawberries up to the base of it, sharing that area, so maybe not even that much. I guess not in succession, but strawberries sharing that area with it. Turmeric's small in the spring. We're getting strawberries out of that. It's not shading them in any way, shape, or form. It's in the back side, north side of them. They're already done giving us fruit by the time this gets really any size to it. Stacking and packing, putting that diversity in. So must be walking by all the horrible dogs. Look at that turmeric inside. Hi, everybody. Right there. I transplanted this one the other day. We'll see. I think it'll make it through the winter. Probably die back, come back in the spring. I was digging this one up this morning. So we'll get quite a bit in here too. But it'll be perennial. Like I said, it'll be perennial in here. It doesn't get as cold. Let's quick look at the fish. Hi guys. Ten year old white Nile tilapia. I'm running this aquaponic system. Growing food for us for ten years. Not much going on right now. Keep that going more this winter. Alright. Next up will be the tarot.